What is up, guys? It's Lay here, and welcome back to another World of Warships Legends gameplay. And today we are in the American Tier 2 destroyer, the Samsung. And while this ship is, well, different from my other videos, of course, since we are usually at a Tier 7, 6, 5, or sometimes 3 tier battle. Today we are in a tier two. We have gone down to the newer players or the newbies or the noobs, if you want to consider it. We went down to that level. And well, I wanted to try this ship. They did give us the Samsung for free. It is a 1000 ton ship or one ton ship, 1000 ton ship, what they consider calling it. But the Samsung is a really unique ship. It's one of those destroyers that, well, they don't have their full set of their torpedo launchers on both sides. It's more of a half and half when it comes to its torpedo launchers. It has about four torpedoes on one side and four on the other. And what's so unique about these torp launches, well, it really reloads really quickly. It's going to be ridiculous ridiculously crazy how fast these reload go for these torpedoes we're going to demonstrate this later in the video but the samsung is a really you know it's a really bad ship when it comes to looking at the stats but wow well, it looks like a whole different ship on the field it's Play is really different from its stats. Um, we're looking about a uh, 10 kilometer, you know, our, our artillery guns, and we're talking about 5.0 torpedo range, which is really bad, especially when you have a consumer of 5.2. But nevertheless, the ship is really powerful i mean i've been up against other destroyers and have no problem taking them out especially when these guns are low caliber 102 millimeter guns i believe but yeah i mean these torpedoes it's mostly a i wouldn't really consider it a torpedo boat more of a gunboat but since these torpedoes are reloading really quickly and the damage for these torpedoes, I believe, is 8,000 damage. And on top of that, you got to remember for the uh, torpedo reduction that these battleships have. So you're talking about maybe 5,000 damage you're causing to these battleships. And as you can see here, I did launch these four torpedoes. And watch as I am able to launch another set of four torpedoes at this battleship here. So we hit him with about three torpedoes there. And we're still fortunate enough to be able to hit him with another set of four. And fortunately get him as well. This one of my Kraken series videos. Oh, we're going to try our best to see the reason why I didn't get this Kraken. As we managed to, you know. Reload again and manage to get those torpedoes out again on this battleship. We got another four torpedoes on that battleship there. And uh, he is really low. There we go. Flooding finished him. We have this gun gut over here, and well, the gun gut is a really good battleship. We have to be careful with our concealment. The gun gut has 12. I believe it's 12 guns. And one salvo will probably end us since we have, you know, 9,000 of our health pool here. Well, this cruiser over here, it's showing its broadside, but since I have 102 millimeter guns, I really can't figure out if I could sell it to him or not, but he's giving me a broadside there and I'm un unable to sell it 
We're up to 39,920 damage. And well, we're not doing much to get our crack in here. We do indeed have seven torpedoes, four floodings, one destroyed ship. We have captured the flag one, so pretty unique stats right now for the Samsung. Uh, Samsung, I give my overall, and especially with uh, on the top right, what I'm running for the Samsung. I'm not fully upgraded on the commander, so. Once I'm fully upgraded, I'll probably make another video. And hopefully, I get a crack in on this one. But the Samsung, I believe it's a, it's a ship that is probably not going to be seen a lot at a tier 2 level. I feel like the Samsung is a ship that probably be the easiest to use for new newer players. I believe that if they keep playing with this ship, it would give them a more knowledgeable info to understand what a destroyer role is especially when you have two types of destroyers you have the gunboats and you have the torque boats the ship seems to play both roles really good and you might be saying with a 5.0 range and a 5.2 consumement there's no way this ship could be a torpedo boat but once again i mentioned it again these torpedoes reload in about 14 or 24 seconds, which is, you know, something different from other torpedo boats. But once a newer player gets a more understanding of they don't have to always be rushing, they would understand that they have smoke, they have a concealment, they can't be rushing. Because the ideal of a destroyer is the more longer it's on the field, the more deadly it becomes. And and, you know, I have demonstrated many times in some videos, the longer I've been on the field with a destroyer is the most dangerous times for the fellow opponent. We have a Phoenix here. We're going to try to snipe this kill. And fortunately, we do get the kill here with the Citadel. Oh, the next one. <laughs> the next one, I believe, is the Citadel. And yep, right there. Four damage for Citadel there. But we have the Wicked and the Wakeful Full. Wakeful is a really good destroyer as well. Now this is where I come upon I come upon a I believe a bug. I'm going to see how the Wakeful you know he torps us, but we don't go down weirdly so let me show you guys what I'm talking about well we take the torps there from our fellow cruiser I believe might be destroyer but yeah the wakeful decides to torp us and well, you know, right here, I was just like, oh, I'm ready for the torps. There's no way I could avoid them, right? And we do get hit with one, two, three, four, five torpedoes. And if you watch the replay again, you're going to see that I don't die, which is really weird. And the Wakeful's torpedoes, you know, they hit pretty hard. I mean, they brought me down from 8,000. Literally 1,000, but I don't know if that's a bug in the game or not. Hopefully it's not a bug in the game, because if it's a bug in the game, it's going to be abused pretty hard. I'm probably going to see in other ships if I get torped and I let the flooding, you know, run and I get torped again if I did, did get destroyed or not. But that bug was really weird for the Samsung. But then again, the ship is new and I was playing this game at launch so just might be a s small bug in the game right here we have the kaiser and the kaiser is on fire and fortunately enough we can send some torps that way 
Oh, come on, let's get that torp over there. And we get our torp kill right there. Now we have the wicked. And we get our double strike. The game is over. I thought the cruiser was still alive, but our fellow destroyer has taken down the cruiser. Or not the cruiser, the carrier. The carrier was down. So we end up with 47,300.